Crush Crush, this is the final episode. I cannot believe it that we've gone through 10 episodes of Crush Crush in like it feels like it literally just feels like I started playing the game yesterday. Um, and I've decided to replace this game with Blush Blush, uh, which is the male version of this game. And uh, same time on or yeah, same time Monday upload schedule, that type of thing. Um, and I'm still deciding on what games I would play Wednesday and Thursday, and if you guys have any suggestions, please leave comments below so I know what games to choose. And, and, um, I don't want to keep this intro a million years long, so I'm just gonna get right into reading some of these phone flings, and just basically kind of say goodbye to each one of the girls, you know what I mean? So let's start with Tina. Okay, okay. I'm ready. For what? What are you gonna be showing us or something? The answer to your question is a bunny suit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god. See for okay, we're gonna see for ourselves. Let's see. You know what you packing, you know? You know what they say, honey rust <laughs> I don't I don't know anymore. Oh. Okay. Well. Um, that's not what I meant to do. Oh no, that's not even what I meant to do either. The sweet <laughs> Oh, oh, she actually looks quite, quite nice. Jumping Java Bean, you're hotter than freshly brewed dark roast. Beautiful, my favorite combo. A little dark and extra sweet. Also, the coffee looks good. Also, I wanted to say that, yes, this is a final episode of Crush Crush, but I will be doing a separate thing just specifically for phone flings. So after I read Caitlyn's, I'm going to start with phone flings. And just basically say goodbye to all the girls. Basically say what I like about this game. But I, yes, I will still be doing a phone fling type thing. Because there's a lot of things you can do with phone flings. Um, especially since they're mainly just reading. Uh, I have no idea why it worked. But while I was focusing on your suggestion, I started to feel different. In what context? Excuse me? Like I was filled with light music and energy. Okay. Um, pants, obviously, are the only construction, so they go away. I mean, I can relate. And then I was imagining my entire body was part of the hoop. It was so different. I have to open what? Uh, even though I was on the ground, I felt like I was up in heaven. I don't know what you're doing with that hoop, but I really do not want to know what you're doing. That's just creepy. I can't even explain the feeling. How did your crazy idea make me feel all those things? Maybe because it wasn't that crazy and you're the one who's crazy. You're such a mystery to me. This isn't our first conversation. This is like our 50th. But I really liked it. I really liked you. You've never even seen what we look like. And I've been, you know... I don't know! I don't want to know what you've been doing! <laughs> Dreaming okay. Um... Thinking about you and... Uh... <laughs> Pina, your rambling is adorable. Honestly, the way you're talking about me makes me want to ask myself, oh no. Yeah, I've been doing- what else has she been doing to herself while thinking about us? Oh dear lord, Pina, I don't exactly know what I should do. Uh, yes, I am rambling, that is. I'm not sure about the adorable part. Well, you know what they say. Here's the deal, I've made a promise to myself that I'd give it my best shot asking you out. I would like to get to know you. Okay. You were maybe kiss you. You've already been like, to, I, I would assume you've been touching yourself while thinking about us. So I mean, it doesn't surprise me. Maybe, maybe fucking, maybe a lot more though. Get freaky in the college? What? I don't know. The dirty dormitory. <laughs> I want to walk through all these steps with those stuff with you. I can't read even if I'm awkward peanut and things are self I'm jam typing so much and not letting you speak. Are you still there? What are you thinking? Type faster. Peanut, my dear. Are you asking me out on a date? I like this one. Peanut, <laughs> my dear. My dear peanuts. That's, that sounded even worse. My dear peanuts, are you asking me out on the dates to go with you? Or are you not? I need to know this. I am. I hope that's okay. 
Ask those to be the one doing the asking out, not the other way around. Don't ask someone out. I, I'm such a train wreck sometimes. No, you're not. Let's see. You. How much is a red panda? Oh no! <laughs> that sounds wrong. Um, I I have to send it now. I like playing with my peanuts. Oh god! At least you didn't just say I like playing with my nuts. That would have been even worse. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. I literally only read the first word and I almost fainted, you beast. I know. I know, I'm a literal beast. Thank you. I really thought you were letting me down and it took me almost 10 seconds to look at my phone again. I want to hear what it- Okay, come on, let's go, Peanut. Tell me, tell me what it is. We gotta be frank. Here. Haha, <laughs> okay, okay, I'll tell you. I'm- I'm actually kind of excited now. Let's see. I've been having this dream about you and I are- are sitting at my place. Okay, what happens next? Please, tell me. We got this crazy project due, and we're doing the whole takeout stuff steady all night thing. You know? Um, I lean over to grab a book off the coffee table and you just- Sword, help yourself. Okay. There's nothing sexier than homework, I say. I might need a diagram. The spatial complexity of this fantasy is sort of fascinating. Um, yes. I might need some visuals, please, Peanut. Please send a photo here. I hope that there won't be any nudes, because that's bad. Oh, I bet I could come up with a decent formula to describe it, but I've got a better idea. Okay. Here, one sec. I'll send you a saucy pic before my buzz wears off. Yeah, I'm gonna purchase this. Here, this is the view. I didn't want to wait that long. I kind of want to see what it is. I'm kind of scared, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not normal. Okay, I guess. That's a- that is a pretty saucy pick. I- I- you probably can't tell, but my expression is supposed to be, I thought we were studying. That-, that you- do hide to- <laughs> You press it and- oh, feeling- Oh, dear lord, I can't even read these! That, like, I let out a sigh, you press backwards and- oh, dear lord. Like I'm reading some type of lemon on Wattpad. And then, I want to know what you do next. Your fancy is a cliffhanger. Well, seeing eyes like that, I would take my shot and start kissing you. I feel like I'm sexting with the girl right now, and even though it's a fake game, it's all, it's all just fake. It's all just fake. It's all just fake. It's all just fake. You kiss me and I kiss you back. My teeth bite your lips softly. I lay you- I pick you up and lay you on your back. I hold you by the wrist and pin you in place. Cassie, I've known you the longest. I've seduced you the longest and everything. Um, I do have to say, I really still think you look like a Hatsune Miku. Honestly, just if you were more aggressive and had white hair with like the moon crescent things instead of like blue hair, like ribbon kind of thing in it. Um, but yeah, and your whole color scheme is different, but other than that, you kind of do look like her. Um, I do want to say that I'm probably going to miss you, I don't want to say the most, but I'm definitely going to, like, I'm, I'm gonna miss you, okay? Mew, I really did like your personality and how you're a gamer girl. I mean, I'm a gamer girl too, as you can see by me playing this game. Um, and I'm, I actually am really gonna miss you. Honestly, same with Quill. Uh, even though we didn't fully get to achieve her, we were so close, but we need to wait until we get to Panda Helper, and that's not from a lot of money left. So, um, here, and then next we have Ellie and the rest of the gang. So, Ellie, I don't really know much about you, um, other than, you know, basically... You're, so, you're supposed to be like a royalty or like a rich or some shit like that. I don't exactly know. Uh, Natsuku, you are some from like an RPG. I think that's what I remember 
you seeing or you being part of or something like that. I'm not really positive. Uh, Iru, I think that you're lesbian. I'm pretty sure you're probably going to be lesbian. You're, I, you're either are lesbian or or have or bi or something. I know that. I like your rainbow hair, though. I think it's a really cool choice, especially for your personality. Um, Hanbel, you see, you always remind me of like a country girl kind of cook type thing, and I really appreciate you for that. Oh, Ayano, I have to admit, I am not going to be able to get you a thousand plushy toys like you had wanted me to get you. Uh, I don't think any sane person would get you a thousand plushy toys. Um, and if they did, they are probably hacking into the game. Um, but yeah, I will always, like, love you, Ayano. Like, you honestly are, like, one of the best girls to ever come in a game type of franchise. You, I think you definitely kickstarted the revolution of Yandere and that type of thing. Um, at least you're the most favoritable Yandere that I've seen. Um... Fumi, I like your intellect. You are very, like, uh, you have a lot of intelligence in you. And you can obviously tell, like, she was obviously created in a lab, but you can obviously tell that she's. Just because she was created in a lab doesn't mean that she, you know, isn't normal. Beverly, I don't exactly know what to say to you. Uh, you're. You're. I don't know. You're. you're I, I, I don't know. Nina, I don't really know much about you uh, other than your nuisance and that type of thing. And I guess we just met, ranked up. You gotta get a new car. What? Hold on, what? How do we get a new car? Okay. Um, new car. Oh, wait. It's probably a gift item. Let's see how much your car is. I just want to see this. Oh! Yeah, no. Office wearable at lower level. Okay, um, but yeah. So I barely know anything about you. Same with goes for you, Alpha. Uh, I think they say or Alpha, not Alpha. What the fuck? Um, I don't really know much about you other than you're like a, a super famous singer or some shit like that. Same with Pamu. You're like an ancient goddess or something. That is uh, obsessed with like Rick and Morty, I guess. I don't know much about you either, um, but we're just going to go with that. But uh, yeah, I think that's all I really have to say for each one of the girls. If you guys really enjoyed this, I okay. First off, before I start that, I really recommend you guys to play this game. Honestly, it's one of the funnest games ever. And if I were to do any more series if i wanted to do more parts of this game i would but the thing is i i want to play new games i want to add more variety to the channel and i think adding at 10 parts is definitely well more than enough because i feel like this game could go well beyond 10 parts it could probably be close to a 50 to 100 part series um but other than that i really do think that, that everyone should play this game if they have the opportunity to uh if they don't then you know just watch more people play this game and stuff like that um but yeah, I think that's all I have to say about the game. Make sure you leave comments below on what games you want me to play. Uh, thanks for watching this video. And, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up. I said that's so out of order. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.